Poorly fitted shoes can ruin a runner's day. They can compromise the runner's gait and lead to injuries. It's why custom-made running shoes have become popular. Tailored for one specific pair of feet, they give the runner the necessary support to go the distance. Thanks to the use of synthetic materials, the running shoe is more lightweight and flexible than ever before. Customizing these shoes takes the concept one step further. They start by taking a precise 3D laser scan of each foot. Then the runner steps onto a device called a pressure plate. Rubber-tipped pins sprout up around the foot. This technique creates an exact outline of the sole, including the arch. Next, a high-pressure water jet cuts through synthetic fabric like a knife. A computer guides the cuts, following the measurements from the scans. The cutouts will be used to make the upper. That's the part of the shoe that wraps around the top of the foot. A seamstress sews together the cutouts, creating the basic shell of the running shoe's upper. Uppers come in a variety of colors, and when a shoe is custom ordered, the athlete can choose. After holes for the laces have been punched into the upper part of the running shoe, the seamstress stitches on stripes, a trademark look for the company. She sews the tongue in a fabric inner sole to the upper, using rounded stitching that will prevent fraying. The inner sole joins the two sides of the upper, and this custom running shoe is starting to come together. But this shoe needs shape and structure before it's ready to pound pavement. So the next worker inserts a plastic replica of the athlete's foot, called a last, into the shoes. She glues fabric to the heel of each shoe and then pounds and presses it to ensure the fabric adheres. Left to sit for five hours, the shoes conform to the shape of the custom-made lasts. But if the measurements are even slightly off, they'll scrap the shoe and start again. It's time for the foam midsoles. The worker cuts the foam with dyes based on the individual's feet. The foam is dual density for maximum performance. He sands each midsole, beveling the tips. This will make for a smoother landing when the foot hits the ground. The outsoles are next. The worker sculpts these treaded rubber soles along the same lines as the midsoles, so they'll fit together perfectly. He glues the mid and outer soles together. To make sure this job really sticks, they squeeze the two soles together using a hydraulic press. In a custom shoe, the athlete can also choose the tread. A deeper tread is more appropriate for trail running, and a shallower one will grip pavement better. The worker now glues the bottom of the shoe to the top. The sole is made a little larger than the fabric upper, which allows her to fold it around the upper for a neat finish. A machine they call the claw applies pressure to enhance the bonding of the sole to the shoe. Then they insert a memory foam insole which melds to the shape of the foot. This insole is also breathable and has been treated with an antibacterial agent. The athlete's name on the heel is the final personal touch for these custom running shoes. They've taken about five days to make but they're ready for a marathon. <laughs>